Hello guys, I am Shazad Ahmad and welcome in lecture number 2nd. Today we are going to download the project and also the we are going to create the Hello guys, I am Shazad Ahmad and welcome in lecture number 2nd. Today we are going to download the coding nature for version and we are going to create the database and also with table and we are going to set the environment so you can easily understand how can you perform the CRUD operations so first of all type codingniter.com okay so this is the official website of the coding nighter. so now as you can see the current version is the 3.1.10 okay if you click on the download button so they are saying the coding nighter 4.x coding nighter 4 is the upcoming version of the framework so this is a stable version 3.1.10 is the stable version while I am recording this lecture and the upcoming version is the coding editor 4.x okay click on the coding editor setup as you can see this is the coding editor project you can click on the user guide to view the user guide of this framework I am going to download this one and make sure you can also download this by using the composer so, so it's totally depend upon you how you are downloading the coding editor 4 so I'm going to download from the github uh, so in the C drive I have the XAM so as you can see this is the XAM and in the XAM I have a docs and I'm going to keep this project in a folder I'm going to create the folder I'm saying crud 4 okay crud ci4 so this is the crud ci4 click on this now I have downloaded now I'm going to open this okay right click inspect element so I have I have to okay I have copied all the content from the inner folder and now I have pasted here so download this and also this now open your PHP score so as you can see this is my PHP score and I'm going to open this click on the file open so now this is the HD docs and refresh the file and now I'm saying find the crud ci4 folder open this in the same window okay so you can see it's indexing your project now go to the local host and type crud ci4 here it's fine you have to use the public folder to execute your index.php file and now as you can see you have just access your environment now if you use the home it's fine because you have a home controller so open your app controller so this is the home.php controller it's the by default controller now I'm going to use the same controller and as you can see if you come in this bad boy and echo the working so refresh the page as you can see it's showing you the working now you have downloaded and you have configured or oh sorry you have downloaded the setup you have opened the setup in the PHP store now open your data grid so this is the data grid now if you are working on PHP my admin so this is the this is your PHP my admin so it's fine if you are using the SQL yoke or some other tools to manage your database or store it depend upon you okay now I'm going to create the database crud ci4 so this is the database name and you can also create the tables here 
or you can open the database here so how can you open your database okay right click and uh, new sorry that's not new okay now i'm saying the file main and the data source click on the data source i'm going to open the click on the plus and this is the mysql and here i'm saying the username is root password is empty database we have just created for ci4 okay now i'm saying this is the thread ci4 and test this connection as you can see it's fine apply okay so open this bad boy which we have just created so this is a c uh thread ci4 so it's schema so this is the empty now i'm going to create a table so how can you create your tables if you are not familiar with data grid you can also use the php my admin if you are working on php my admin or you can also create the tables uh, like if you are using the skill you or something or some other tools now right click click on this open your schema select your database or right click on your database new table now i am saying students so students is the table name i am going to create the s name so this is the student name uh, the s name is integer make sure it's a not null field and it's a primary so auto increment because it's required now i'm saying s name sorry it's s id make sure it's s id so it's auto increment so that's why we use auto increment here okay now i am saying this is the s name make sure this is a warshaw field you can also define your warshaw 10 20 or 50 it's totally depend upon you i am using the 20 it's a not null field make sure it's a required field now i am saying s date make sure this is the date time field and i am saying this is required now i am saying s subject okay i am saying 200 it's also the required field i am saying s updated or update so it's a date time field also why we are using s update it's it's not the required field so okay i think uh, these are the fine execute this one right click open your file so now as you can see you have just created a table you have just created a database so how can you configure your database with your uh, in your applications so open your config file there are two ways to configure your database you have the env file you can also specify your database here so where is the bad boy so this is the bad boy so ci4 you can specify your database in the env file or you can go to the app folder in the config folder you have your database file oh, okay now this is the default group of your database make sure you can also create your multiple data groups is totally depend upon you now i am saying the username is root and the password is empty database is crud ci uh let me check it's a crud ci4 okay crud ci4 so this is the database name you have now go to the page refresh the page it's working fine okay if you as you can see this is the home controller home controller if you want to create another controller i am going to create another controller like i am saying that students so this is the students controller click on this so it's fine now i am saying x extend controller so if we storm automatically added this code now if you use the functions index make sure whenever you access your 
controller it will automatically execute index method i am saying index students t e and t as and also this is the wrong controller so right click refactor rename and i am saying this is the right okay fine index for students go to the page refresh the page it's fine if you access the students students so as you can see now it's working fine okay what happens if you access the public folder so as you can see it's not working why because open your config file and open your roots.php file so now as you can see the by default controller is the home so now you can use the student as a default controller okay now go to the page refresh the page okay because you can you you have to specify which routes you are going to execute whenever someone access your root okay now i am saying students the students and index now it's working fine okay fine you can also access your students like this now you have configured what happens now i'm going to create a model okay we will discuss about the model in our later lectures but for now it's enough we have created our controller and we have created our database we have created our tables and we have uh, added the database settings in the config.php in the database.php file which is available in the config folder so thank you for watching